Hi everyone and welcome back, I bet it is for you TV. We have reached the semi-final of the Euro 2020 and we are very very happy with the results that we have achieved in the quarterfinals as we have had some great days of winning bets. We've been winning so many bets in the last few days and I'm sure that if you have followed the previous show you will be celebrating with us. We promised before this event that we will do what we could and our best to deliver the great tips and make this tournament the best betting tournament that you ever experienced. And uh, if we had some problems in the quarter. We started very, very well in the in the in the group stages. Then we had some problems in the in the last 16 when there were uh, big teams, very big surprises that no one no one could have predicted, like France, Netherlands went out and also Spain had some very issues, big issues against Croatia. But after that, we recover on in style and we managed to get so many bets in the last few days won, as you can see in the graphic now, uh, especially the, the match on uh, Saturday was uh, fantastic when uh, we get uh, correctly the double, uh, two doubles in and uh, also the bet of the day. Everything basically we tipped was uh, a winning bet and also you can see that the returns have been uh, very high. So we are very pleased with the results. And addition, in addition to that, I have to say that if you have watched the, uh, the show at the beginning of the tournament, so just before the tournament started, we also predicted that England will, will be at this stage. Someone of our experts predicted that we, England will win. And then we also said that uh, Italy will be uh, a very um, interesting dark horses and it could actually be um, get all the way as well. And also we tip Denmark to uh, go all the way. So we basically tip three teams out of four uh, in, in our show, in our preview show. So very, very good uh, from us and uh, a great thank you for all our experts that have been working so hard to make these results possible. But it is not finished yet and we have more uh, coming up. Of course, now we're eating the, um, the topic of the, we, we're reaching the topic of this tournament. We have the two semi-finals, uh, Spain against Italy and of course England against Denmark. And then we will have, of course, the final where we're going to have a special show to deliver all the best tips for what should be a fantastic game. But before we go to that, Let's focus now on the first semi-final that will be plays, played on, uh, on Tuesday and in this show we have uh, uh, our experts all connected with us. So we have Robbie Billon that will give us the tips on this match and also we're going to have um, Lucas and Proni and we will then be back here to give you the tips from our expert, from our expert yeah, but it's for you TV at quarter. One thing I want to say is that because obviously the matches are, uh, uh, oh, now we're talking about one match per day, there could be situations where uh, our expert tips are conflicting with each other. After all, each of us have a slight different view of what can happen. We will try to minimize that, but uh, that could, could be a possibility. So what is our suggestion is that you go with the tip that you feel uh, is more close to your art and also maybe with the expert that you've been following more uh, uh, in the last few months. So that's our suggestion when, when you have to deal with the conflicting tips coming from our show. We believe that it's better to give you more opportunities to bet rather than just trying to bring everyone in the same uh, mind, which is not possible in games in situations like that when there is only one big game uh, a day. So, uh, said that, make sure you subscribe to our channel. All you need to do is to click on the subscribe button and also um, make sure you, you hit the bell as that will allow you to get notifications every time we post a new video. This is the best way to avoid losing out anything that we publish. In addition to that, if you decide to back some of our tips, I strongly advise you to check in the description below as you will find all the links that will load those bets in the Bookmaker website. We selected Bookmaker based on how good their odds are at the moment of recording, so it is likely that you will also get better returns if we manage to win the bets. Obviously, odds are subject to change, so double check them before betting. So now we are ready to go uh, to Robbie Billund. It's connected with us, he's ready, he's been delivering great results. He managed to get a fantastic double and the bet of the day in on uh, Saturday. So let's hope that we can continue with that. Robbie, that's over to you. Hi everyone. We have reached the 
Semi-final stage of the Euro 2020, uh, it's time to look ahead of uh, the game that we have on Tuesday night from Wembley, the first of the two semi-finals. It is between Italy and Spain, uh, two uh, huge nations, of course, when it comes to football and uh, with massive history on both sides here, of course. Italy, the World Cup winners of uh, 2006, and uh, Spain, of course, the World Cup winners of 2010, and of course, an impressive record in the Euros uh, during the last couple of years as well for for Spain. But it was before the tournament two teams uh, who I think most pundits didn't rate at uh, the highest level. Uh, we heard a lot about uh, France, Belgium, maybe England as well. But Spain and Italy has been uh, somewhat of dark horses here uh, going into this tournament. Maybe not as the favorites, but they have impressed and now they are in a semi-final. And it will, of course, be an absolutely amazing game that we have in front of us here on Tuesday night. Um, Spain, uh, they have uh, shown the world that they know how to score goals here at the Euros. They scored five goals against Slovakia, five goals against Croatia. But then they had a bit of a struggle against the Switzerland, uh, only uh, getting a 1-1 result during the full time. And they had to take it to penalties. And this was a Spain team who had missed five of their last five penalties. And they started out missing in a shootout as well. But of course, with all the misses from Switzerland, in the end, Spain could grab the semi-final spot. And now they are here. And uh, they hope to, of course, overcome Italy. But you have to say, you have to admire this Italian side who has been uh, absolutely amazing through the tournament. They did struggle a little against Austria, but Austria did also do it very good in that game. Uh, I think we all saw the quality that Italy has uh, when they were up against Belgium here on Friday. So it will be a very, very uh, interesting game, definitely. And we have picked out a bet builder combination for the game and also our best bet of the night for Tuesday. Um, I think this will be very tough, very tight. It will be uh, down to maybe individual skill in the end. I believe that Italy will uh, probably be very comfortable in their defending. They can let uh, Spain have the possession. They have been the team with the highest rank in possession. They create chances. But I think Italy will want to just have them in front of them, have them in control. They can sit back. They can be the team focusing on keeping the structure and organization and then they have some amazing talent up front but I think it will be very close very tight and in our bet building combination we start with under 2.5 goals that is the foundation for this bet um, then I think it's now a semi-final stage it's so much to play for it's about uh, making history pretty much with your nation going to a Wembley final, maybe against England. It will be a huge game no matter what. And I think all the players will have the tension. They will want it so much. And I think we could see a few yellow cards here. Um, instead of just going over a specific line, I'm going over 1.5 cards for each team, backing uh, both of the teams to get at least two yellow cards each. Uh, as I predict a low scoring game, we could maybe have one team up by one goal come the end of the game. We will see. We saw how the Italians played a very cynical football against Belgium. Now the referee are aware of that. They must be warned. They cannot allow that to happen again. And also we could see frustration going into this. It could easily be a card here and there. And I am quite confident here on over 1.5. So the bet builder that we do for this game is that we have a goal total of under 2.5 goals during the 90 minutes. Uh, and of course, then adding to that both teams to get at least two yellow cards each. And that is a bet building combination that, of course, depending on your bookie, subject to change, but it pays somewhere around four times the money. And we are backing it with a medium stake. 
The best bet, however, for a Tuesday night, I think at the end of the day, is to back Italy to progress here. Spain, we saw um, how they struggled to score in the opening games against Sweden, who was all only focused here on defending. And to be honest, after that, Spain has had quite a comfortable way forward here. Uh, you could absolutely argue that Italy has been on quite a decent, nice run of fixtures as well. But I think they impressed too much for not backing them uh, as they won against Belgium. So I think that they have the height here, Italy. They have the confidence in the team. It seems like the dynamic in the team with Roberto Mancini and the whole staff, it just seems like this is Italy's chance. And I am backing Italy to progress to final. No outright winners, but Italy to be the team going into the final is backed as the best bet of the day with a medium stake as well. So we have our best bet, Italy to progress, and then we do our bet building combination with under 2.5 goals, both uh, teams to get over 1.5 yellow cards. And that is, along with everything else we offer here from Betting Tips for You, some of the tips for Tuesday night. So um, I wish you all the best and hopefully we will get an absolutely amazing game of football as well. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Robin. And let's hope that we can get more winning bets for this uh, semi-final and uh, it's going to be a great game and uh, we can't wait to see who is going to get the first spot in that final on Sunday. Now let's move on to uh, our uh, local expert, Luca Semproni. Of course, Italy is involved, so what is, uh, uh, it's a great idea to go to Rome and to see what is the local impression from our expert there and what he's suggesting for uh, this uh, big game between Italy and Spain that will take place at Wembley. So uh, one thing I want to say is that we always back the tips from our expert. As you can see, we've been showing you betting sleep that have won. That's the reason because we've been always uh, backing our own uh, tips and uh, we believe that not only we winning but also that will give the confidence to anyone who's watching that uh, at least we do trust our expert and our work 100% that we try to give out just genuine tips. Also if you want to check uh, all the winning bets that we have achieved in the last months, you just need to go to our website bettingisforyou.com and navigate to the Betting for You TV section where you will get a full list of winning bets and also the latest episode. So now uh, let's move on to the show and uh, let's go immediately to Italy to see how the fever is there and what is the suggestion uh, in this big game for uh, both Italy and Spain. Look at us, that's over to you. Ciao Simone, come al solito benvenuti a tutte le persone che ci seguono su Betty Tips for You. Oggi vi parlo della prima semifinale di questo campionato europeo, cioè Italia-Spagna. Una partita eh, che ci aspettiamo bene, mi aspetto bella, tra due squadre comunque eh, in forma. L'Italia è in forma da tantissimo tempo perché, come ho detto altre volte, ha raggiunto i 32 risultati utili consecutivi, quindi in battuta 32 partite e la Spagna che dopo un inizio complicato pian piano sembra si stia eh, riprendendo quindi ecco mi aspetto una eh, bella partita eh, l'Italia eh, tre vittorie nel girone 3-0 alla Turchia, 3-0 alla Svizzera, 1-0 al Galles e poi eh, agli ottavi 2-1 sofferto con l'Austria e ai quarti il 2 1 al Belgio che tra l'altro ecco, avevo eh, pronosticato qui su Bette Dips for You. Eh, come vi dicevo è imbattuta da 32 eh, partite e eh, è una squadra ecco, in, in grandissima forma perché anche il Belgio comunque ha giocato bene, ha recuperato ecco, secondo me importantissimo Chiellini che a mio modesto parere è comunque uno dei difensori più forti al mondo, veramente è incredibile questo, questo giocatore eh, solidità in porta perché Donnarumma comunque si è dimostrato un grandissimo portiere e un centrocampo davvero molto forte con anche il recupero di Berratti ma laddove anche Locatelli comunque in panchina ha dimostrato di essere un ottimo giocatore così come Pessina che è andata anche in gol con l'Austria quindi ecco l'Italia comunque 
ha nel centrocampo e nella difesa veramente due punti importanti, due punti forti. L'attacco stende immobile dopo una buona partenza, sinceramente ecco, in queste ultime partite si è un po' eh, incartato. Eh, la Spagna invece eh, due pareggi e una vittoria nel girone, 0-0 con la Svezia, 1-1 con la Polonia, 5-0 con, con la Slovacchia. Poi 5-3 con la Croazia, 3-3 era finita supplementare con l'incredibile rimonta dei croati dal 3-1 al 3-3 e poi eh, 1-1 con la Svizzera che peraltro è rimasta in 10 al 77 per l'espulsione di, di Froler. Anche qui supplementari e mh, vittoria ai rigori della Spagna che è una squadra come non mi nascondo, vi ho detto tante volte, non mi entusiasma, non è più la squadra di una volta. E, mh, Ecco perché io comunque voglio puntare sulla vittoria dell'Italia con eh, under 3 eh, e 5. Eh, perché? Perché secondo me l'Italia è più forte e eh, poi ecco la Spagna comunque ha dovuto eh, giocare due supplementari consecutivi, quindi potrebbe essere anche una condizione fisica meno brillante rispetto alla stessa Italia. Quindi ripeto vittoria dell'Italia e under 3 e 5. Voglio dare un livello di confidenza medio a questa giocata perché Uh, comunque ecco è sempre una, una semifinale i pronostici arrivati qui sono sempre uh, difficili anche se confido ecco, che sia un buon uh, consiglio secondo me nel ricordare e giocare responsabilmente auguro un buon europeo a tutti una buona semifinale a tutti e ridotte la linea Simone ciao a tutti Thank you very much, Luca, and uh, let's hope that we can get more winning bets coming from you. Luca's been in uh, great form every time tipping Italy, delivering a lot of winning bets in the tournament. You can check previous episode to see how many he has done, but I can guarantee that there's been uh, a very, very good and a solid tournament from him. So now let's move on to the tip release by our expert here, Benz for you, TV at quarter. Obviously, This is going to be a rather open affair as both Spain and Italy have been scoring goals regularly and also um, especially Spain that has started with a little bit of uh, um, problems in attack. They have managed to sort that out and in the, in the recent matches they have been scoring goals. However, they tend to concede as well and in fact both teams to score have uh, um, has come up in uh, uh, three of the last four matches Uh, of, of Spain. So we do um, see that not, even if they manage to score goals, they tend to leak something. Uh, Italy have started in a very solid way. They were on a run of around 9 or 10 games without conceding goals. But uh, we, as we progress into this tournament and we, we are seeing better quality of positions, we can see that the Italians at the back are starting to, to be uh, more vulnerable and they concede a goal against Austria in extra time. And uh, in the last match against Belgium, they concede their first goal within 90 minutes at this tournament. So we do expect that um, this will continue and Italy will find it harder and harder to keep clean sheets, especially as they will uh, face a Spanish side that has scored 12 times across the last four matches at the Euros. Italy have done well as well in attack as they've scored 11 goals uh, in, uh, in their three games. But as I said before, they're now gone two games without uh, a clean sheet at the Euros. So, We do expect to see uh, both teams to score in this match. Uh, it should be a, a um, very entertaining affair and uh, um, we believe the value is there. After all, those two sides have scored a combined 23 goals at this tournament. So let's go for a very interesting final and this is our bet. So both teams to score in uh, Spain against Italy and we put our maximum stake, 10 credits, as we believe that this is going to be a very, very likely outcome. So that's all for today's show. Please uh, follow us so you can get all uh, our tips for, 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 and videos for free and hit the bell so you get notifications every time you, um, we release a new video. If you like some of the show, uh, if you like this show or if you like some of the previous show and managed you to win some bets, please put a big thumbs up as that will allow us to produce more and more videos for you. That's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed the show and uh, I wish you a great semi-final and uh, uh, if you decide to play some bets, I wish you great luck. But otherwise, thanks for watching and uh, always remember to gamble responsibly. Bye now.